According to the Coca-Cola company, 15.2 billion ounces of Coke products are purchased every year. That's more than 1,000 liters per minute. That might be a lot, but it doesn't even compare to the amount of alcohol drank in the world. The world drinks 35.5 billion liters of pure alcohol a year. Convert that to a 40% liquor and it comes out to about 170,000 liters a minute. So the math only points to one thing, that every man, woman, and child on earth drinks a Coke cocktail every week. Some of the popular drinks are a rum and coke, also known as a Cuba Libre. Then there's the tequila and coke called Batanga. Cognac and coke is often just referred to as Hennessy and coke. A Jack and coke is Jack Daniels whiskey with coke. But which liquor is best to mix with coke? I'm going to try 16 different types to find out. From the cheapest vodka to some expensive Hennessy XO cognac. I'll face them off against each other bracket style. My method would be to add half ounce of liquor to an ice cube and stir to chill. Then add one ounce of cold coke with a quick stir to mix. Taste is subjective, but what I'm looking for is a good complementary flavor that doesn't cover up the coke. Basically, it should be a drink that's enjoyable, not something you just want to plug your nose and shoot like you did back in college. Price won't be considered for the winners, but the liquors are given mm -hmm. a seed number according to their price per ounce to determine the matchups. Let's go over the challengers from most expensive to cheapest. Number one is Hennessy XO Cognac at $9.05 per ounce. El Dorado 21 year rum at $5.11 per ounce. Amador 10 barrels bourbon, $4.92 per ounce. Perno Absinthe, $3.93 per ounce. Senor Rio Tequila Blanco, $1.97 per ounce. Stoli Elite Vodka, $1.67 per ounce. Tangeray No. 10 Gym, $1.38 per ounce. Malahat Rum, $1.34 per ounce. Grand Marnier Cordon Rouge, $1.26 per ounce. De Quartet VS Cognac, $0.86 cents per ounce. Jose Cuervo Especial Silver Tequila, $0.57 cents per ounce. Cruzan Aged Dark Rum, $0.51 cents per ounce. Gordon's Gin, $0.43 cents per ounce. Earl Settler Bourbon, $0.31 cents per ounce. Bacardi Superior, $0.30 cents per ounce. And last, Gordon's Vodka, only $0.22 cents per ounce. First matchup between the most expensive and the cheapest, it's Hennessy XO versus Gordon's Vodka. It's not that great. Try the Hennessy XO. I prefer the Hennessy. It adds a little flavor. With the Gordon's vodka, you just get a you get the ethanol. The flavor is just better than the Hennessy. Next up, Malahut Rum versus Grand Marnier. Malahat rum. It's got a little funkiness to it. I don't think it goes well with Coke. Let's try uh, Grand Marnier. 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 The smell is nice. It's pretty good. It tastes almost uh, like there's a little orange soda in there with it. I'm gonna pick Grand Marnier as the winner there keep that one. Next up, number four, Pernard. Nard. Pernod Absinthe. Perno, Perno, Perno. Versus number 13, Gordon's Gin. I think that smells nice. The absinthe is 136 proof. That probably will give it a disadvantage. Maybe it's an advantage, I don't know. Let's try it out. I made this pretty nasty color. It's different. I actually like it. It's like black licorice in Coke. Okay, gin. That's much lighter. The gin is easier to down because of the lower proof. I don't think the juniper goes well with the Coke though. The absinthe's got good flavor, but it's it's strong. I'm gonna have to go with uh, absinthe. <laughs> absinthe here. Next up, number five, Senor Rio Tequila versus 
Cruzan Aged Dark Rum. Senor Rio. No. The smell. The tequila smell just gets to me, but the flavor's not bad. Odd aftertaste, though. Okay, try the aged dark rum. That's much better. Rum and Coke. Who would have thought this uh, rum's not aged that long, so that might be a good thing. But I'm going with this aged rum. Putting this tequila back. Next up is the second most expensive liquor versus the second cheapest liquor. El Dorado 21 year rum. And Bacardi Superior. No, it's too much for Coke. I really like this in a pina colada, but it's not doing too well in a Coke. Okay, cheap Bacardi white rum. It, it turns a Coke into a a harsher version of itself, but I'm gonna take that over the 21 year. I don't think the flavors mix well. Tangare number 10, the Quartet VS Cognac. Kinda like that one. Not bad, cheap cognac in Coke. That's not bad either. It kind of tastes a lot like a rum and coke. We'll have to see if it beats a rum and coke. Because I like that better than the gin. Next up is Amador bourbon. Uh, an expensive bourbon. Versus the cheapest bourbon. Earl Settler. I'll start off with the Amador. It's more aged and it has a more complex flavor. I'm not into that much. It's a little too harsh of a flavor. All right, the cheapest bourbon I could find. I think the cheaper bourbon's better. It doesn't overpower the Coke, so it's a better mix. And the last matchup in the Sweet 16 is Stoli Elite, a luxury vodka versus Jose Cuervo tequila. Stoli Elite and Coke. That's a good vodka. You don't taste it at all. It tastes like slightly watered down Coke. It's definitely the smoothest mix I've tried so far. If you don't want to taste alcohol at all, just you could go with that. Okay, I'm gonna try this Jose Cuervo. I think it's gonna be the opposite of that. It's gonna be a gonna be a rough taste. Not as bad as I thought. It's actually really light on the taste too. The smell. I'm not into tequila smell. Kind of like the flavor though. I'm gonna have to go with the vodka because the the smell of the tequila with, with the Coke just throws me off. Okay, we're down to eight. Got two cognacs, got two rums. I don't know what my favorite's gonna be. Okay, eight left. We're gonna go with Tennessee XO and Grand Marnier. This will be interesting because the Grand Marnier is cognac with orange liqueur versus just the cognac. It's way too sweet. Now we're gonna go absinthe versus Cruzan aged rum. Absinthe and Coke. I believe that's called uh, Crioli mud. This looks like mud water. It smells great. I like the flavor. It's a lot easier to drink. Lower ABV. I have to go with rum. Next up, the Quartet BS Cognac. Gets Bacardi Superior. Kind of tastes like a whiskey. 
Coke to me. It's very light on the flavor. It's better than the cognac. Last up of the eight is a cheap bourbon, Earl Settler. And expensive vodka, Stolia Elite. Tastes like you've had a Coke with a bunch of ice and you've let the ice melt out halfway. A little watered down, a little flat. Uh, the wood flavor doesn't really go well with the Coke. Okay, we're down to four. Cheap white rum, cheap lightly aged rum, Hennessy XO, and expensive vodka. Hennessy XO against Cruzan aged rum. Can you tell I'm starting to get kind of drunk? Hennessy and Coke again. Oh, woe is me. Again, Hennessy. It's a strong flavor. It's different to me this time. They need some water. That's not water. Sad to say it, Hennessy XO is better. Stoli Elite Vodka versus Bacardi Superior. Both handles. This one actually has a handle. This is just a huge bottle that is hard to pour. Actually, is this divot? Is a divot a handle? Let me know in the comments. I think to be a handle, you have to be able to put your fingers through it. This top is a handle. There you go. It's the Lily. That's so smooth. Bacardi. His rum is so light. This is so close. Bacardi has a very light oak flavoring. I'm gonna go with a Bacardi. Okay, we're at the finals. Got the most expensive alcohol I have, Hennessy XO, versus the second cheapest alcohol I got, Bacardi Superior White Rum. It'll be nice if the Bacardi's better, because this Hennessy XO is just way too expensive. The Hennessy beat Gordon's Vodka, it also beat Grand Marnier, and it beat Cruzan Aged Rum. Bacardi beat El Dorado 21 Year, it beat a cheaper Cognac, and it beat that Stoli Elite. Last time, Hennessy Coke. And the Bacardi. Ooh, I'm getting so drunk. I would say just try them both. Do I gotta make a decision? I mean, I'm gonna have to revisit this and make a proper cocktail out of these. But I think they could both make a good drink. Here's your decision. If you want extra flavor, go with the Hennessy XO. If you got the money. If you want cheap and less flavor, but not in a bad way, just go with Bacardi. I'm going to give this one to Bacardi. The Hennessy is 30 times more expensive and you just you can't ignore that. I'm gonna revisit this with Hennessy. I'm gonna try to make a good cocktail, Hennessy and Coke. Could just be out of lime. I'll figure that out later. I'm gonna go drink a bunch of water. Thanks for watching.